Hello friends, today we will use star stacks to stack star 12 images. It's a pretty easy thing to do and we'll see step by step how to do it in a while. Star stacks is a free application for star 12 image editing and the link for the download is in the description below. So let's get started. This is the star stack software. On the top left side we have an option open images. We can browse to the folder where we have saved the JPEG images. Yeah, that's right. Star Stacks doesn't support raw image editing. So if you shoot the trails in raw images, so make sure you convert your raw files into JPEG images using any raw converter softwares or Adobe Lightroom software. If you shoot trails in JPEG, then you can directly import those images in Star Stacks. But we recommend you to shoot in RAW and then do some basic editing in Lightroom software and then export the images as JPEG. Check out our Lightroom basic editing video of Star Trails. Link for the same is in description below. Now let's select these images. You can see on the left side the images are loaded. Star Stacks has introduced dark image processing technique in the algorithm to reduce the noise in the star trail images. On the top left side, the second option is for selecting the dark frames. You can browse to the folder where you have stored the dark frames. On average, you can use 15 to 20 dark frames per 100 star trail images. One thing to remember is to keep the resolution of the dark frames similar to the star trail JPEG images which we have imported in the star stack software. For this particular image, we have a resolution of 1631 into 1080 and the resolution of the star trail images which we are using as sample is also the same. Now let's select the dark frames. On the left side, we can see the dark frames are added below the star trail images. Let's process the image by clicking on the start processing icon on the top left. The best part of star stacks is we can see the trails being formed as they slowly progress. It's done. Here we have the final star trail image. It takes hardly a few minutes to create the final star trail image and it's completely free. Now let's check out some more features of star stacks. On the top right side, we can see the preferences option. In this section, we have three subsections. Blending, Images, General. In Blending section, we have different blending modes. Lighten, Gap Filling, Darken, Add, Subtract, Multiply, Average, Average plus Increase Exposure, Average plus Decrease Exposure. To see what each mode does, you can hover to the Blending Mode drop down and in the pop-up we can see the details of each mode. We'll be using Lighten and Gap Filling Blending Modes for Star Trail Editing. So let's select the Lighten Blending Mode and also select the Comet Mode. We can give special Comet-like effect to the Star Trail image. We have the option of Short Trails or Long Trails as of now. Let's keep the cursor between Short and Long Trails. The processing is complete and here we have the final comet style star trails. Let's zoom in a bit to see the comet like effect in detail. Now we'll save this image. We will now try creating short trails comet effect. Let's start processing. We can see the short trails are hardly visible. So let's change the setting for the short trails and then see the results. Now we can see the short trails are visible. 
you can experiment with different length of comet trails. I personally like to keep a balanced length of comet star trails. Let's process this image. The processing is completed. The other blending mode that we can use is gap filling. Normally while shooting star trails, due to some incorrect configuration and settings or while changing the batteries of the camera, there is some gap between the star movements in between two images. If we notice this while processing the image, then we can use the gap filling blending mode to fill the gap between the stars. We also have threshold tool for gap filling. You can access this tool from top right side below the preference tool. We can configure the threshold and amount from this tool. On the top side, we have zoom in, zoom out, fit to window and 100% view tools. Let's process the normal start rails once again. Save this image by clicking on save as option. Now we have these final images. We can select the one we like. It is easy once you have your JPEG files ready. StarStack can take care of the rest pretty efficiently. I hope you have liked this tutorial. Put your queries in the comments below and I'll answer them. Like and subscribe for more videos. Ciao! Have fun shooting and editing your start reels.